Now I'm going to rebuild the steering wheel. It doesn't turn smooth. There's kind of like a hang up. Okay, inside the coin door, there's one connector that I unplugged. And then up here, there's these little brackets. And I removed these two screws and the whole control panel lifts off. Here's what it looks like underneath. The steering wheel has a little optic board. Now I'll disassemble it. It's got these little bushings. Here's the larger bushing. I take an Allen wrench and undo these three bolts. And that is what is holding the cap on to the front. Now I undo this bolt. The steering wheel is called the 500 by Superior Performance Products. It's got this cool little dude. I'm also undoing all these bolts. I'm going to remove this part. I'm also going to inspect the optic board, clean it up. I've noticed on the back of these header pins, there's some cracked solder joints. So I'm reflowing the header pins. Now those solder joints are nice and good. Looks like this had been worked on before. Looks like some GB weld or epoxy. Must have been broken. It's pretty neat what they did. They cut a piece of plastic very intricately so it fits over the little screw mounts and then they epoxied it. And it's really pretty solid, well done. Okay, now I'm cleaning everything up. There seems to be some heavy grease on all these parts, so I'm going to clean it up with some alcohol and cotton swabs. I also bought some new Thompson bearings from Arcade Fix It. It cost $20 to replace these old ones. I'm using the steel wool grade 0000 super fine to remove the rust on the steering wheel. You can see all the rust and this is one part I've already cleaned. It's super shiny. I dip the steel wool in a little bit of water and then just scrub. Now I'm taking some car wax, carnauba, and sealing the metal to prevent it from rusting in the future. And it's just like a car, you wax it, let it dry for about 30 minutes, and then buff the wax off with a dry cloth. Look at that sparkle. I'm also going to clean up the center cap and repaint the Atari logo. You can get these paints at Walmart or Michael's Craft Store. I'll let this coat dry and then do a second coat later for a nice solid look. Now I'm going to clean each of the buttons. I 
I'm going to take the button apart. I push the spring down and then these little tabs push in. You can remove the center part to clean it. Then you kind of push the spring in to hold it down. Boom. I'm going to use this lightweight sewing machine oil. You also get it with like a razor, electric razor. Lightly lubricate the new Thompson bearings. Okay, I've got it all back together. It spins super, super smooth. Check it out. Really pleased with the results. Okay, now I'm going to rebuild the gas pedal. And I undo this one connector. And I remove these two bolts. And the gas pedal pulls out. And I'm going to disassemble it, clean it up really good put a fresh coat of black paint and put a fresh piece of textured tape. Here's all the parts cleaned up and the rust removed. I got this at Home Depot for $7. It's reflective tread. It's got like a textured sandpaper kind of thing and adhesive back. And I cut a little template that's going to fit on the gas pedal. And I took it and traced it onto the tread paper. Here's the rebuilt gas pedal, factory fresh, super clean. While the gas pedal is out, I'm going to clean this up and repaint it with some flat black. Here's the gas pedal installed, steering wheel. And in the next video, I'm going to rebuild the coin door, paint it, and then do a general cleanup. Really deep clean the machine and touch up some of the paint scrapes. I'll clean and repaint the speaker grill. Okay, okay. Your thing on it, sir. The game is so much nicer with a nice smooth steering wheel. Well done.